Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Gatsby. Today we're on episode number 7. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to head on over to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter, and make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. If you haven't watched the past episode, you're going to want to do that first. That's going to be talking about how you can set up Gatsby Live Preview with Gatsby Cloud. Now if you don't want to use Gatsby Cloud, this is the video for you. We're going to talk about how you can set up Gatsby Live Preview with Drupal on your local development environment. And this is really helpful if you are developing out your Gatsby site and you want to test out content changes, you want to see how it's all going to work and how the content editing experience might work for your content editors when the site's live. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you remember last time, we have our Gatsby Preview site set up, but we don't want it to run in Gatsby Cloud anymore. We want to be able to run this locally. So we, we already set up the Gatsby Drupal module. We have a Drupal site. We need a way to run a, our local Gatsby development server and have our site, our Drupal site, talk to it. And it's really actually very simple. If you're using Gatsby source Drupal, all you need to do is make sure that your Drupal site can communicate directly with your Gatsby development server. So if I'm running Gatsby develop, this is going to run. And essentially what it's going to do is it's going to spin up my Gatsby development server and I need my Drupal site to be able to talk to my Gatsby site. There are many ways you can do this. It really depends on how your Drupal site's set up. If you're running in a development environment like Lando or DDEV you know, or a Docker-based environment, or you just need to make sure that that environment can communicate directly with your local host Gatsby development server. So you can see when this site spins up, it's available on localhost 8000. One easy workaround way to get this to work is you can use something like ngrok. So ngrok is just a tool that allows you to build public URLs for your local development environment. And it's going to allow you to basically build a tunnel that your Drupal site can talk through into your, your Gatsby site. Now if you don't want to do this uh, using an external tool and you're using a local development environment, all you need to do is make sure the right port is opened so that your Drupal site can send data to your Gatsby site. If you get the right ports opened, it's going to work. Um, depending on how your local development environment is set up, you might have to do a few different things, but just know that if the communication is open over that port 8000, uh, it's going to work. L let's see it in action. In this case, we'll use ngrok, but you can use um, whatever you need in order to get that communication between the two sites to be able to work. So I'm going to open a new shell window here, and I'm just going to run ngrok. And I just need it to be port 8000. So essentially, this should be able to forward into port 8000. And if I go here, this should be my Gatsby site if all goes well. And you can see it does load. This is my Gatsby site. I can go to the articles page. And for some reason that's not working. Oh, there it is. So I have my articles page. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. As you can see, it's the same page here. Now all I need to do is take this URL, and if you remember from the last video, we had to configure the Gatsby Live Preview module to point to our Gatsby development server. I'm just going to change that to point to now my local running Gatsby instance. Again, this is just using ngrok, it's just tunneling into my local development environment. If you have it, the port set up locally, this might be something like localhost or um, whatever URL you need to get from your Drupal site to ping your Gatsby site over that port 8000. So I save it here. If I go to this, the site and let's say I'm just going to change the title back to what it was originally and I go save it. You can see it's immediately previewable on my 
Gatsby site. And notice how it, the Gatsby site actually loads faster than the Drupal site, which is kind of funny. So that's all there is this time. As you can see, it's really easy to run Gatsby Live Preview either in the cloud using Gatsby Cloud or locally uh, just using a local Gatsby development server. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. If you have any questions, reach out to me at codekarate.com, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.